What is going on YouTube? I am the Bull Tie Fragrance Guy. This is a fashion and fragrance channel. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, I think you're going to be happy with the content on the channel. <laughs> so I hope you won't mind hitting subscribe, man. Just go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell. That way when I upload new content on the channel, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Hopefully. So on today's video, man, I'm going to be tackling uh, 10 clone fragrances I have in my collection. Uh, that I think are good for you guys to consider for the year of 2023. Now, a lot of the ones that I've chosen uh, are fragrances that I really, really love. And it's not just the typical run-of-the-mill stuff that's cloned like Aventus and Baccarat, although, of course, those fragrances are going to be represented on this list. But some of my favorite fragrances, man, like Ombre Nomad from Louis Vuitton, um, Ooh Satin Mood, uh, from Amazing Francis Kirkjohn. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, Oud Wood from Tom Ford. Some of my favorite fragrances, man. And I have clones for each of these fragrances, and I will say that these clones are at least 90 to 95 percent similar, just in scent DNA at least, to the original fragrance. So, if you guys are into clones, you're into saving some money, then this is going to be the list for you. So, if you want to see what I've got on my list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Before we jump into the fragrances, man, look what I got in the mail from YouTube. Yes, man, it is finally here. Check it out, guys. This is the YouTube play button that they send <clears throat> to creators when they reach 100,000 subscribers, man. And this is just... Thank you so much to all of you guys out there, of course, that have subscribed to the channel. Obviously, this is going to find this place somewhere uh, back here in the office area. So, <clears throat> man, shout out to you guys for subscribing to the channel, for rocking with me again. You know, I couldn't have done this, obviously, without you guys, obviously. Uh, but again, thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, I'm not sure what the next one is, but I'm happy to have this one. So, again, thank you guys for all of your support. All right, so the first fragrance on this list, man, this one, again, is about 95% similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille, and the name of this fragrance is Cheruto Tobacco Vanille. <laughs> All right, so this fragrance, like I said, is about, I would say about 95% similar to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. I've smelled, you know, all of these fragrances, obviously, man, and I'm not gonna go, not gonna go into a lot of detail, because you know what they smell like if you smell the original. But this, of course, is a tobacco and vanilla scent. It smells 95% similar uh, to Tom Ford's uh, Tobacco Vanille. What I found to be the major difference with these fragrances, for the most part, comparatively, comparatively speaking, to the original fragrances, that they don't last quite as long as in most cases. And there is a slightly more synthetic vibe to them and all that kind of stuff. But I always say to the average person you're going to come into contact with, they will probably not be able to tell the difference between Tobacco Vanille and Charuto. Tobacco Vanille from Pandora Scents. So if you're looking for a good Tobacco Vanille clone, then check this one out. Again, the name of it is Charuto. Tobacco Vanille from Pandora Scents. Now, guys, in a few days coming up, I want to share this with you, too, as well. We're going to be doing a video where I have the missus come on, and she's going to actually be blindfolded, or either she'll turn her head away, one of the two. And we're going to, I'm going to have her smell these and see if she can tell the difference between the original and the clone. And I think it's going to be really hard because these things are so similar, especially at first hour. A lot of times, to really pick up the nuances and some of the slight differences, it may take, in my opinion, once... Uh, for the fragrance to start to dry down a little bit. Uh, but anyway, that, that's going to be interesting. So look forward to that. <clears throat> now, this next fragrance is a fragrance from the House of Armagh. 
which is another house that makes no you know no bones about the fact that they're cloning other fragrances but this one came out maybe about two three years two years ago maybe and this one is called club de nui milestone club de nui milestone and this is about 95 percent similar to a very popular fragrance from the house of creed which is millicene imperial great fresh kind of salty aquatic fragrance to wear in the summertime again i think they nailed it with this one right here um from the house of, of armoff again this is a club day new milestone so if you like you know millicene imperial you won't want to spend that money then this is one that you need to take a look at so check that one out now what you're going to see with some of these fragrances is not only the scent profile uh that they've cloned but they also clone the actual presentation now this next fragrance is a clone of elysium from the house of rosie parfums and this one is from i think the brand is called fragrance world man i might not get all these brands right because it's like you know it's a little bit confusing on confusing on some of them but again i think it's from a brand called fragrance world and this is called imperium now again they even cloned the presentation on this one <laughs> because that's exactly you know what the elysium presentation looks like and this one is called imperium they even got close to the name just like with the first one i talked about they even have tobacco knee on the cheruto down at the bottom but yeah this smells 95 about 95 percent similar man again presentation uh is almost the same and the fragrance dna is about the same as Elysium so again I think the brand on this one is called Fragrance World but they really did a good job of capturing the essence from the presentation to the scent as well of Elysium so check that one out all right guys now this next fragrance I talked last week about the fact that Latapa's Camera to me doesn't really smell like Angel Share and I stand by that but don't fear I actually have a fragrance that's really really close it's almost, it's in between that 90 to 95% range. Again, like I said, with all the fragrances that are gonna be represented here today. And this fragrance is called Fire Your Desire. Now, again, what's confusing about some of these fragrances, they come from a, I don't know if it's a store name or a company called Paris. What's it called? Yeah, Paris Corner. So this particular, I guess that's the brand maybe that does fragrances, but then they have Emir on here, like Emir could be the line maybe. If you can see that. So I'm not sure, man. But anyway, Paris's Corner, this fragrance is called Fire Your Desire. And this fragrance smells very close to by Killian's Angel Share. This, again, like I said, would blow Kamra out of the water if you're just talking about how similar the scent DNA is to Angel Share. You know, I guess when you look at Kamra, maybe 10% at some point during the transition, people may pick that up, but not with this one. I mean, from the initial spray on through at least about two to three hours into the fragrance, I'm getting Angel Share vibes. You know what I'm saying? So if you're looking for a clone to Killian's Angel Share, then check out Fire Your Desire, because again, this is about 90 to 95% similar to uh, Angel Share. All right, guys, I was really excited about this next one because it is a clone of one of my favorite fragrances in my entire collection, which is Ooh Satin Mood from the House of Amazing Francis Kirk John. And this fragrance is from, I guess the brand is called Ministry of Oud, and it's called Oud Satin. Oud Satin. So what they've done here, obviously, is they have, you know, almost cloned the name. <laughs> It just left the mood off. It's called Ooh Satin. But the fragrance, again, this is about 90% similar to uh, Ooh Satin Mood. I think this one is a little, just a touch sweeter than Ooh Satin Mood. Um, but again, if you're just talking about the scent DNA, so it does capture about 90%. So really good option. Again, all these, of course, obviously are gonna be a lot more affordable. Uh, than the real thing but if you're looking for a good alternative or a good clone of oud satin mood then check out ministry of ouds oud satin now this next fragrance resembles one of my another one of my favorites which is a fragrance from the house of tom ford which is oud wood you guys know how much i love oud wood oud wood is oud good 
And this particular fragrance brand has done a good job of capturing the oud wood DNA. And this is another one where they not only cloned the scent, but they also almost cloned the name as well as the presentation. So this is from the house of Mason Alhambra, and this is called Woody Oud. This is called Woody Oud, and again, presentation <laughs> very similar to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Um, I guess that's a uh, maybe a deer on the top. So the bottle is actually pretty dope. Presentation is actually pretty dope. Again, very similar to Oud Wood from Tom Ford, and again. You know, not to sound like a broken record, but they got about 95% right on this. Very, very close to Oud Wood. And like I said, this would be a great alternative if you're looking for an actual clone. And there's some other fragrances out there that um, I guess you could say were inspired by some of these uh, fragrances that I'm talking about. But these fragrances that I'm mentioning today are clones. I mean, you there's no bones about what the company was trying to do they were really trying to clone the fragrance and this is definitely one <laughs> that they had all intentions on cloning the oud wood uh fragrance by tom ford so check it out again this one is called from mason alhambra this is called woody oud now this next fragrance is one uh, that you don't hear a lot about as it relates to fragrances being a clone of the fragrance that I'm gonna mention. But this particular brand from Al Haramain, actually, uh, this is a good clone uh, of uh, Ombre Nomad from the brand of Louis Vuitton, which of course you guys know is a fragrance I really love, a smoky oud rose fragrance. And I think they got about 90% close to it with this fragrance from Al Haramain, and this is called Amber Musk. This one is called Amber Musk. I really like the bottle, man. This is a really nice, uh, presentation here nothing like ombre nomad but the scent itself is about 90 percent similar the only difference here is they did add a note of musk which is not present in ombre nomad so that does give this fragrance a little bit of a i don't want to say unique but a different scent profile if you're just comparing it to ombre nomad so you do have um a very prominent note of musk like I said, that's absent from Ombre Nomad, but it is really, really close. I still would put it at about 90% similar. If the musk wasn't there, it would have been 95%, but 90% similar to Ombre Nomad. If you're looking for a great alternative, check this one out because it has it all there. The oud, the raspberry, the rose, the saffron, the, the amber, the geranium, all of it is in this fragrance. So check it out from the house of Al Haramain. This is called Amber Musk. All right, guys, this next fragrance is a clone of Oud for Greatness from the House of Initial Parfums. And I saved these last, these other, these last three, four to be the final three because these are more well-known uh, uh, clones. But this one is from the House of Latafa uh, Perfumes, and this one is called Oud for Glory. So Oud for Glory is a good clone of Oud for Greatness, and they nailed it with this, man. They nailed it definitely in that 95 uh, percent percentile as it pertains to how well they cloned Oud for Greatness. Again, this is one where with the name, the scent profile, as well as the bottle and the whole nine, uh, they were making no secrets about their intentions with this particular fragrance. So they captured it. So if you're looking for an alternative to uh, Oud for Greatness, <laughs> check out Oud for Glory. Now, I just did a uh, kind of review uh, of this fragrance, so if you did not see it, I'll make sure I link it uh, to this video. But, of course, we're going back to Armoth. As a matter of fact, we're going to go to Armoth for the last two. Not going to spend a lot of time on these because they are well documented at this point. But from the house of Armoth, this is Club de Nuit Untold. And obviously, you guys know that this is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. Definitely in that 95 percentile. As it, as it relates to a clone, listen, you will notice a theme on this list that I'm repeating a lot of brands because certain brands are just what they do. They clone fragrances and they don't make any, don't try to hide that. You know what I'm saying? They make no apologies for it. Great job cloning the Baccarat Rouge DNA. And what I do love about all these fragrances on the list, although they don't perform oftentimes as, as good as the original, and the notes may not be as well blended and, um, of the higher higher quality 
they did a good job at the end of the day and they do decent on the performance side and this is no different so if you're looking for a great alternative to baccarat route 540 look no further than untold from the house of Arma. and last but not least this fragrance will always reign supreme as one of the best clones of the ever so popular Creed Aventus, and that's Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. Even in 2023, I think this is still one of the best clones of Creed Aventus. When I, when I put my nose to Creed Aventus, and I put my nose to a lot of the other clones slash inspired by fragrances, to me, this is the closest still to this day. And for that reason, man, because you know, obviously you're gonna, going to only pay about $29 for this fragrance. It's still one of the best clones out there on the market today. So obviously, I know most of you know about this one. That's why I saved it for last, because I wanted to really show you guys some of the other fragrances that I think are good in this category. But man, check this one out, guys. It's from the house of Armoff. The best, definitely one of the best of vintage clones on the market. This is Club Day Nui, Intense Man. But that is it, guys. That is my time, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, I would love to hear about some other fragrances out there that are clones of very popular fragrances that I would, that you guys would put in that 90 to 95 percentile as it relates to how close it is to the original. I would love to hear about them down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.